Hey guys, Gretchen's Bakery back again with another awesome recipe, this time for Peach Melba Fairy Cakes. Yes, fairy cakes, because they are not quite a cupcake and not quite a cake, but a perfect little mini cake fit for a fairy or a princess or me. <laughs> Here is my spin on the classic peach melba, which is, of course, peach and raspberry. I combine those two flavors with a super moist peach cake and a slightly tart, slightly sweet raspberry compote to balance the sweetness of my peach buttercream. For the cake, you will need brown sugar, granulated sugar, any milk alternative of your choice, peach puree, and you can click the link below to see an in-depth how to make a fruit puree for any recipe, flour, baking powder, this time I am using energy egg replacer, salt, vanilla extract, vegan butter, and some fine chopped fresh peaches. First combine the vanilla extract with the milk alternative, then add the puree to that. Get the dry ingredients, including the sugar this time, to a mixing bowl and give it a spin to incorporate it really well. Then add the vegan butter. Mix everything on low to medium speed for about a minute and a half until it is all incorporated evenly and it's going to resemble a fine meal. Add the milk puree mixture and mix it to a smooth, lump-free batter. You can get it to high speed for just about 30 to 45 seconds to develop the batter and also make sure that it's smooth. Now, I'm going for a peach melba here, of course, so I want to add just a drop of pink and yellow to give it that peachy color. Optional, of course. Then add the fine chopped peaches and fold it all together. Now into a well-greased fairy cake pan. Well, it's just my mini bunt pans, but how cute is this? I am using a pastry bag to pipe the batter neatly since although this pan is super cute, it can be a bit of a pain to get the batter into it nicely. Oh, and by the way, you can bake this batter into cupcakes or even cake layers if you didn't want to grab the mini bunt pan or click the link below if you do want to grab your own fairy cake pan. Bake in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven until they are springy to the touch when you gently press the centers. Get some peach preserves melted so when those little cakes come out you can brush them with peach preserves. Not only will that seal the cake and keep them moist, but it really gives them some intense peach flavor. Now for the buttercream, I saved aside some of that peach puree from earlier. Again, the recipe is written clearly on the blog, so just click the link below to grab the written printable version. But I am adding just a bit of that puree to my buttercream and then the remaining peach preserves. Just be sure it's all cooled or you will have peach butter soup. I am piping a bit of the buttercream into the holes of my mini bunt cakes and you will see why in a second because now I'm going to fill the centers with a quick raspberry compote that I cooked up and if I didn't plug the hole with the buttercream, well, you know the rest. Raspberry puree falls out the bottom as soon as you pick them up. All right, a bit more buttercream on top and then I have some dehydrated peaches. This is an optional step, of course, but it really makes this whole dessert pop. Folded to look like a rosebud, well, you get the idea. Pretty, pretty fairy cakes and so good. This cake is so moist and to answer the question that I know is coming, yes, you can use any fruit puree here, but if you have never tried peach melba, I beg you to do it this way first. Okay guys, I really hope you will try my recipe, so head on over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab the written printable version. If you liked this video, don't forget to give me a like, and I do hope you will subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the best recipes weekly. I do want to take a minute to give a special thank you to my newest patrons on Patreon as well as my pals over in PayPal. You guys are seriously the reason I'm able to continue making free videos and sharing my recipes. I know I always say that, but it's really true. You are making the difference for me monthly to continue or, well, don't even say it. I can't imagine not being able to afford to do this for you guys each week. So if you think you can help support me and Gretchen's Bakery for as little as a dollar a month, click the link below to find out how. 
Thanks as always, though, to everyone here for supporting me, even if you can't do it through Patreon. I do appreciate every view and the visits to my blog, which is the biggest help of all. So click those ads, visit me at Gretchen'sBakery.com and Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. Hit me up on all my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. All right, guys, that's enough of my yapping for today. Get to the blog. I will see you guys again really soon. Until then, happy baking. Bye for now.